men. They're accused of lying and acting sneaky behind their mates' backs. They're accused of being just plain dogs. But we're not talking about men today. Today, the people being accused of acting like dogs are women. Our guests are here to say to their friends, get real, your woman is dogging you. Oh, and the women accused of being dogs? They'll be here too. show, but every now and then we turn the tables and let the men get even, and today is one of those days. What do you think, guys? Yeah. Meet Angela. She says her friend Mario is being dogged by his woman, Toy. She says Toy is engaged to another man and is just using Mario. She says she wants Mario to wake up and realize he's acting like a sucker. Mario and Toy are both backstage, and we'll meet them in just a moment, but first, Angela, tell us, how is she dogging him? Well... Toy is doggy Mario by first of all just having a fiance and second of all by treating him like a like a little child. If he doesn't do what she says, she gets an attitude and she storms off like a kid herself. Once we were at a basketball game at our college and she told Mario to come here and he didn't, so she got upset and stormed down the stairs and went on to her room. She's I mean, once she even about her fiance, she um put her panties in an envelope while he was sitting right there in our suite. That's pretty good. Wait, 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 wait. She's involved with Mario, and she has a fiancé in another state, and she was sending her panties to the fiancé in front of Mario. Yes. <laughs> if that's not dogging him, I don't know what is. I, 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 I don't <laughs> Why does she have a fiancé? I really don't know. I just wish that she can make a decision on who she wants to be with. If she doesn't want to be with Mario, let him go. And if she wants to be with Eric, just go ahead and stay with him. But don't use both of them. Don't play both of them. All right, are you ready to meet Mario and hear what he has to say? Mario, come on out. I sense by all that screaming that you'd like to dog him. No, Rick, y'all not being played. I think Angie just, she looks at it differently. I mean, you know, that's what, I mean, me and Toy, we got a relationship going. I know she has a fiance and everything, but she don't see what we see. I mean, and about this panty thing, I wasn't paying attention to that. I mean, I was talking to one of my friends, you know, and then she told me later on that it had happened, right? But I don't feel like I'm being dog. So what's going on here? Does Angela want you for herself, you think? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no, no. She has a fiance herself, so. Yeah, but I mean, when you, have, when you have a fiance, you don't have boyfriends on the side. Well, what evidently that means there must be something between us, you know, that it can result in the future. You so know? you feel like the one that's being played is the fiance because you have her and he doesn't? Um, it, I don't look at it like that. I mean, I'm with her now, you know, and I feel like that later on in life I'm still going to be with her, so, you know. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Um, get real. Wake up. One thing is that you want to share your woman? I want to share. You're a pretty good looking guy. You're, you're decent. And you took, I mean, if I was, I'm telling you, I just wouldn't share my mate with anybody. If she has a fiance, yo, let her choose. But I ain't going with this two time deal. No way. It's just a beginning stage. She will be mine and only mine in the future, so. Yeah. So you're pretty confident that you're going to have her in the end, all right. Yes, sir. Yeah, Andre, you said you're going to be with her. Mario. Oh, I'm sorry, Ma. <laughs> Mario, you said you were going to be with her later? Even after she gets married, you're planning to be with her? No, I mean, well, th well, if she has a fiancé, it, it's pretty obvious she's going to get married. I mean, you said you're going to be with her later, so I, oh, I want to understand what you're trying to say. If she has a fiancé, then why is she involved with me if she's so much... Good question. Me? We should ask for that, don't you think? Yeah. Hey, Welcome, Toy. Did you hear 
hear the question? I heard the question. Why am I with Mario? Well, first of all, I know it's a mistake by allowing myself to care for two people, but I'm in love with but I love Mario. And I don't feel that I'm dogging him because I told him from the beginning what what was going on. I had a fiance, I mean he knows it, I still have a fiance, but for some reason after this show I feel that I won't have a fiance anymore. <laughs> I I already know that, so I'm pretty sure about that. And as far as the panties, that was kinda like a joke thing. So I just want to clear that up. How do you take that as being a joke when you're sending it to your fiance? Do you think he thinks it's a joke? No, it's just funny because we, we have that type of relationship that we laugh about things like that. So underwear. Was I mean, Mario supposed to laugh about it too? Mario wasn't really paying attention. Oh. So wait, so wait. You said that you think that you're not gonna have a fiance after this show. Yeah. So are you making a decision that you want to I have to make a decision today. I, I know that I have to make a decision today because I mean I know Eric's gonna see this. I mean I'm sorry, my fiance will see this. So I know that I have to make a decision on who I really care for and who I really want to be with. I know that for a fact. All right. Yes, ma'am. Mario, are you in love with her? Well, <laughs> I am. I, I right love to her. chase, man. Go for it. I love her. I want to be with her, and I feel like I could fall deeply in love with her as time goes on, as we get to know each other. But is she willing to fall in love with you? I'm willing. I'm willing to fall in love with him because, I mean, if I'm going to allow myself to be with him now, Knowing that I can't be with my fiance, I mean, evidently I, I know something's gonna happen because we see each other every single day. In a way, it's like you're using him no, and your fiance. It's I like feel that I'm using work out with your fiance. You're gonna fall back on Mario. Yeah. No, I mean, I don't understand. I really don't. Did you think that Mario is coming off stupid in yes, this situation? Yes, very much so. Yes, ma'am. I have a question for Mario. If you do get engaged, do you feel she'll do the same thing to you? Uh. No, I don't think so because I can offer a different kind of love, you know, that's going to be there, you know, for me and only. And, and to you, Toy, why, why get engaged? Why not date around? Well, first of all, me and my fiance, we've been together for a while and we've been through a lot. And he, I mean, he's in the Navy and it's just happened like that. So, I mean, I feel that I wanted to be with him, but going to school, I didn't think I was going to meet someone else. That's the way I look at it. So that's why I got engaged. All right. Yes, ma'am. I have two questions. Toy, how long have you been doing this? How long have I been doing this? Since mm -hmm. school started. Three months. Okay. And Mario, are you seeing somebody else? Mm, no, but I mean, before she even came along, I wasn't seeing anybody because, you know, I just didn't find anybody that was worth my time. And the only reason why it happened is because my fiance was with someone else himself. So, but he was mad enough to tell me about it. So we kind of like just went from there. And you had an open, open relationship. We had an open relationship. relationship, but now, I mean, up until this point, I mean, it was an open relationship. But he was writing me telling me he didn't want one. So that's why I allowed myself to date Mario, and then it just got more intense with everything. All right. Mario, do you have something you want to ask Toy? Yeah. Toy, even though we've been through all this, you know, you have a fiance and everything, you know, but I was wondering, after today, could you be with me and on with me, maybe even for the rest of our lives? <laughs> me, um, for the rest of our lives, what do you mean by that? I mean, for the rest of our lives, as in someday, you know, get married and have children. Yeah. So, are you proposing? <laughs> I know exactly what you're proposing. I mean, she can't be proposed to twice. I mean, I know, I understand proposed twice thing, but I'm asking her to let me know right now. You're asking her to dump the fiance. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, um, I feel that Mario has been there for me now and hasn't been there for me. So I feel like this. I'm willing to start my life over and be with Mario. That's So I'm willing to. So yes, I'm willing to. Do you think that's a good idea? Well, Mario, all I got to say for you as her name is Toy. She's toying with you. <laughs> and what he can do for her. We'll meet them when we come back. If my buddy's wife was dogging him behind his back, I'd have to tell him. I would easily, easily tell him. It depends what Tom and 
Yeah. No, I don't think I would do it. Uh, I'm a little scared. I think he might come after me maybe with a crowbar or something. to get to step in. Meet Joven. He says his friend Tony is being played by his girlfriend Wendy. He says Wendy is only with Tony because of the car he drives and the money he spends on her. He wants Tony to wake up and see what's really going on. Joven, what's going on? Well, first of all, um, they had knew each other, but they really didn't start dating until she she found out that he was getting a new Mustang, new 94 Mustang uh, for from his dad. And so then she went and told all her friends that, oh, I'll have this, I'll have that, since she's getting this. And Do you know not... for a fact that she went back to her friends yeah, and I mean, said, I'm going to get yeah, this and going to get that? I mean, people that. have called and told me and different people. I mean, everybody knows it. And uh, she just, uh, she just likes him. She'll call him, like, when she wants something, she'll call him, try to get him to take her to the mall if she needs something. Like, if she needs something to wear to school or something like that, she'll call Tony because she knows that he'll go and get her right away and take her. So you want your buddy yeah. to wake up and smell the roses? Yeah. Cause I mean, she's not faithful to him. I mean, I've had guys say like, "Is Tony and Wendy really dating?" Cause she, she like called me and wanted me to go out with her. Wow. I mean, cause we'll be like at the mall, and I'm like, "Tony, I mean, this girl, she's, this girl says she knows you. She says she likes to go out with you." Like, no, man. And this girl also wanted to go out with you. Yeah, she had uh, mentioned to one of her friends that she would like to go out with me. I don't know how true that is. I mean, cause it's, you can't go upon what you hear. But I mean. So what do you say? Just from what you've heard, do you think that he's being played? Yeah. Should we meet him and ask him? Alright. Tony, come on out. <laughs> Tony, we all think that you're being played. What do you think? I don't know what to think. I'm, I'm kind of stuck in the middle. I've got my best friend here, who's the best friend in the whole world, and I've got a girlfriend who I don't see why either one of them would want to lie to me. Well, I mean, I don't want him to think that I'm like trying to pick his girlfriend or who she go out with, but I mean, no, no, I don't think he I mean, it's just like, we'll be out, and I'm like, Tony, there's two girls, and they're like looking at you, and you'd be like, no, man, I wouldn't do this. I mean, it'd be different if she was faithful to you, and y'all had a good relationship, but I mean, everybody I'm, knows she I'm self conscious, and that's kind of why I don't skip around a lot. Plus, I, I really like Wendy, I love Wendy, but I don't understand why. I want to find out. I want to ask Wendy if it's true. I want well, to ask her about true. every. Well, if it's true, then I guess that makes me single and looking. So, are you ready to ask her this big question? Yeah, I'm ready. I'll Take a deep breath, because here she comes. Wendy, come on. <laughs> Something he wants to ask you. Okay. Joven, a while back, you know, because I've tried to talk to you about it. Joven has been telling me things that you want wanted to go out with him and you only started going out with him in my car. And I never believed it at first. But I started to think about it and some of what he's saying makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. And I want to know. First I want to know, did you first start going out with me because you knew I was gonna get in your car? <laughs> she just answered the question, didn't she? That's okay, Ricky. I've got another question. Okay. Number two, do you, did you ever once say that you want to go out with Joe? Well, no, 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 Something more time to my friends, you know. Joe, okay, 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 yeah. okay. Did you say something? Did you want to go out with Joe? Yes or no? Yes or no question? Did you want to go out with Joe? I said that. Yes, yes, no? yes. I said, well, no, no, wait. Don't be kidding. Oh. Oh. It's not, Ricky, it's not that I don't want to be with her. I want to be with somebody who wants to be with me because of who I am, 
Ain't not what I can do. Hey, y'all been trying to. I mean, that. Sorry, sorry, sir. Yes. Hey, I just like to say to both of y'all, you know, that the old saying that if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. And for you, my brother, you got a choice. And I need to let you know this lady right here is willing to go out with you. <laughs> for 60 years. She cheated on him maybe six, seven times over six years. I kept telling you she dumped the girl, get rid of her. He's fine. They don't want to leave her. I love her. Okay, I'm dumping her. Two weeks later, I'm back with her again. I think he finally broke up when, he, when she told him she loved somebody else. <laughs> playing them. Meet Gerald and Mackenzie. Gerald thinks Mackenzie's girlfriend Tori is sneaky and is dogging him. But Mackenzie disagrees. He says Gerald is the one who has the problem because it's Gerald's girlfriend Tabitha who's doing the dogging. Now both Tabitha and Tori are waiting backstage and we'll meet them in just a moment. But first, Gerald, we'll start with you. How is uh, Mackenzie being dogged by Tori? Man, it's obvious, man. He can't even see it, man. Every time, every time me and him, you know, try to go hang or something, he's always talking about, man, she's dogging me. She's dogging me, man. She was talking to this other dude. Dude told me he called her or whatever. And then all she got to do is give him a little kiss and he'll be talking about how much he loves her and he's going to marry her. <laughs> but it's not or whatnot, you know. It's all crazy. So you think that Tori has him uh, has him wrapped around her little finger? Man, she got him wrapped. You know, this is my boy. You know, I love him no matter what. I'm, You know, if he's happy, I'm happy. I'm not going to say leave her alone. But all I'm saying, man, is just recognize game, you know. She, you know, she playing to the left. Alright, and Gerald, or Mackenzie, you want to tell Gerald that he's the one being played? Uh, yes, basically I need to tell him that because, um, <laughs> you know, we're good friends, but, um, you know, I just need to tell him that he needs to wake up and recognize me. You know, we can go out, she'll look at a guy, you know, she doesn't be discreet about it. 
So he'll just sit there, you know, act like he didn't see it. Or we may be over her house and the phone will ring. It's maybe a two or three times it'll be a different guy every time. So, um, you know, I think he needs to recognize but see, himself. But see, the fact of the matter is, I'm going to treat her like the queen she is until I find out she's playing me for real. Because when I find out, she's going to be cut off. You know? <laughs> Yeah, this is my boy, and I'm glad he's telling me. I, you know, I got my eyes open. I ain't gonna get caught slipping. Do you want to ask her for yourself? Yeah, yeah, I'm asking. All right, let's do it right now. Captain Victoria, come on out. Captain Victoria, go ahead and ask her. Max seems to think that you're playing. Are you playing? No, I'm not playing you. Max, what do you think? I mean, how do you know I'm playing you? I mean, as a friend, I'm going to tell <laughs> you what I think. So, you know, I know if I was over Tori's house and the phone, you know, kept ringing and it was a different guy, you know, two or three times, you know, I might, you know, think something. But your own friends tell you that Tori be calling. My own friends? Who was that? You know who it was? Tori was calling and then you went down there and talked about how much you was going to blaze it. You get down there, we get down there, she give you a kiss, and you on the way home, you talking about, man, if I hit the line, I'm a girl. Huh? Who are you talking about? Yeah, I know who I'm talking straight. Wait, wait, wait. So, Tori's the one who was seeing a guy? Man, Tori was seeing this dude. Man, because see, dude is our kind of roommate, right? Tori was hollering at him on the DL, and then we found out about it, right? So Max said, I'm going to confirm it. He came, we were supposed to go down there at 7, he came on my house at 5, jumping around, slamming the doors and whatnot. Man, I'm going to go down there, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. So he gets down good. there, man, he was talking about, man, yeah, I love you, I just want to be with you. <laughs> <laughs> man, I'm man. So wait, something. who's playing whom? Ricky, we never did come find out that that was the truth, it was just... Rumors, speculation. Well, why did she tell you all about his football career, stats, what he gonna do this weekend? Well, this I'm gonna ask him there. It wasn't that I was talking to him on the phone. Tori, are you dogging him? No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma'am. Hi, I was just wondering how long um, both the couples have been together. We've been together for eight months. Me and Joe only been together for like a month and a half. A month and a half? <laughs> And, and you you still stick to the fact that you have not dogged him? I would never dog Joe. He is the sweetest guy, and so and I, I would never dog him. That's what they all say. All right. Yes, ma'am. Y'all only known each other for a month, and y'all already starting to cheat? I'm not cheating on him. Imagine you. when, like, two years go by, what's going to happen. I'm not cheating on him. Get a grip. What do you think these guys should do? They should leave him. If you feel it's, like, it's if, a matter if, of, if, if you feel in your heart that she cheating on you, leave her. Well, together too much. She ain't got no time for all that. Oh, you. Oh, okay. Now you can get the black and, 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 and if she is, when I find out about it, it ain't gonna be, it ain't gonna be no controversy. It's just gonna be she gone when I find out about it. But until I find out about it, I'm gonna stay with her. Cause as far as I know, she's a good girl. Oh, oh, yeah, you know, time, so when do I have time to cheat on me? Nah, you be going everywhere. You be oh, in the I know about you. You and your little hot friend. Y'all be everywhere together. I know about you. My boy told me. I, you know I got a boy stay down there. Sorry, what do you want to say to Gerald? I want to know what what else have I done that makes you think that I would just on my head smack. He has to feel about him. Yeah, yeah, maybe he does, no, like maybe he do. You know, I, I'm not saying he should, he should leave you alone or whatever. You know, I'm just trying to tell him, look, man, you know, she might I get you. You're looking out for cooked. the boy, right? Yeah. 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 Well, you need to look out for yourself and stop worrying about me and Matt, okay? I'm gonna worry. I ain't gotta worry about her because if she's doing something, it's gonna eventually bring yourself out. Well, eventually, I'm just gonna back and sit back and shit. All right. Okay, yes, ma'am. I mean, this all seems kind of silly. They've only been seeing each other for a month. But how do you know who's answering her phone? How do you know who's on her phone all the time? You say guys are calling her. How do you know? Now she, she'll admit who. But at least I did tell her. She'll admit who it was. If she was cheating, she wouldn't tell you all these guys are calling me. I mean, maybe they're just friends. I mean, it's possible. Right. I mean, how do you know who's, a, who's on her phone? She'll say who it was. But, you know, she'll be hesitant. And how do you say this? These, wait, come here. What are you saying? You're saying there's no evidence against these women? I'm just saying it. It seems kind of silly. All of a sudden, he's saying, well, these three guys are calling <laughs> her. How do you know that these guys are calling her? Unless you wanted her for yourself. Yeah. 
Who my girlfriend? Nah, that's my boy. He's cool. He like that. He didn't want to introduce us. I introduced him. Okay, just just making sure. Are you making special All right. He says his roommate is always freaking out about where his girlfriend is. He wants to tell him either quit stressing out or realize your woman is a dog and it's time to move on. Don't go away. A man or a woman, a man will brag about what he does, a woman will like to feel it. Women are looking for men more than more than guys are looking for women, I think. Women? Oh no, no, I'm not doing cheating like a snake in a rug. It's bad. They want it just as bad as we want it. They just keep it under that hat. But believe me, fellas, they're looking for the same thing. <laughs> dogged by his woman. Do you stand by and watch it happen, or do you try and warn your friend? Meet Alex. He says his roommate Brian is being dogged by his girlfriend, Michaela. He says Brian is always stressed out about their relationship, and he needs to wake up and realize what's going on. Alex, what is going on? Well, it's like this. Um, like, we uh, went to high school together and stuff, and then went to last year at college, and he'd never really been the type to hang out with the, you know, like, one girl. So all of a sudden, he, she, like, gets him under her control and everything and now it's like he'll never go out and do anything with me because he's always at home like waiting for a phone call or wondering where she's at or what's going on what's she doing and like she's usually you know like out with other guys or do you know for a fact that she's out with other guys well yeah i like uh see her around town and stuff or on campus with other guys and whatnot but maybe they're just friends well yeah i mean i can understand that but i mean she like I mean, this is like a reoccurring thing every day, though. So. Could it be? Could it be that you're just upset because you don't have your best friend anymore as much as you did? Well, no, because I mean, I could deal with that, but it's the fact that it upsets him so bad. Like he's constantly, you know, upset and frustrated, and that it makes it real hard for me to live with him because we're roommates. Do you think, think she's cheating? I don't know. It's hard to say. I mean. It, from the way I look at it, it kind of seems like that. Yeah. All right, well, let's meet Brian and talk to him. Brian, come on out. Hi there, Brian. Hi. Alex seems to think that your woman is cheating on you. That could be. I think uh, Alex might be a little lonely. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think Alex should spend more time trying to find a woman of his own instead well, of getting into business? Well, check this out, though. I mean, he's like... I think Alex wants a partner to find women. A, well, no, I don't need anybody there to find women. It's just that the only reason that he is always with her and everything is it's like security. It's like, come on, dude, you know, let's go. You know, you'll talk about going out and meeting other girls, but you won't actually do it because of the fact that it's like the security of you know you can always go to her. It's late at night, you know, you're kind of bored, so you, you know, head over to Michaela's and talk to her rather than going out and, like, trying to find somebody, you know? Brian, you are you out. a little bit concerned that she might be dogging you? Sometimes I wonder, Ricky, but, but, uh, you know, I can't. Wonder, I can't. like, every day, all day long, you uh, wonder, man. Uh, Let's ask her, all right? You guys have a good sense of things. Let's ask her. Michaela, come on out. <laughs> Michaela, come on. We're all friends here. Are you playing him? No, not at all. I I'm totally confused why Alex would even make accusations about it. I, I don't know where he gets his information. I don't even we used to be really good friends and it, it just really confuses me why he would act this way now. Well, just because, like, Brian's constantly upset and you're constantly out with other guys. You shouldn't let that affect your life. Huh? Well, it's kind of hard when I live with and you, I'm dude. Not, yeah. I'm not constantly out with other guys. <laughs> Where are you then? She, 
Yeah, dude, she's like at the bar, you know, at the bar. Listen to him. He wasn't going to do it. He dumped his girlfriend and then he couldn't give advice to everybody else. I'm telling you, dude, dude. That's like Tony saying that. I need Tony to run around. Me need to find girls. I mean, I don't think Alex needs him to run around. I, I, know tonight. I mean, he's going to be kind of with his little girlfriend that's cheating on him while me and Alex is out tonight. I mean, me and Alex will run together. Yeah. I mean, you know, he can stay in the room and he They're acting like I went out I every want, night and I was cheating on him. I mean, I did. I don't want to. I don't want to. I know it looks like that I, I'm going to break up with her and all this. I do love her still, and I still care about her. But I want everybody to know, you to know Ricky, Joey to know, guests to know, TV to know. I want everyone to know that no woman, no man, no person is going to make me a sucker. No problem. Yeah, I want to tell you. Give to Yes, sir. Okay, I got to say something to all you guys that um, your friends, your buddies that have been telling on each other. You guys should mind your business. First of all, because you gotta let your friend grow up and live their life, number one, number one. You young lady, you're 16 years old, you live your life, don't worry about him. You, sir, you're 19, you should be chilly because you're gonna grow up and be a, a, a young woman and in, in the future you may need her. You, sir, mind your business, let your friend grow up and you, and you sir, she doesn't give any man the opportunity to prove himself to her. I mean, I want the best for her. Right. I can give you, an, you know, a, 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 for instance, about what she does. Um, she was pregnant. She was about six or seven months pregnant. And she had this guy who wasn't the baby's father send money to her over Western Union. She had him buying baby blankets, the clothes for the baby, and what have you, and you know, taking her out and what have you. And um, what she do to him? It wasn't the baby's fault. She she dismissed him after the baby was born. She was like, Ugh, I don't want to be bothered with you anymore. She She's a plain dog. That's right. All right, well let's meet her and talk to her. Grace, come on out.
had bad experiences with men, but that doesn't mean that all men are like that. All right, 99.9999% of men But give yourself time, you'll find somebody. I understand, because I've been through it myself. Mm -hmm. But I understand that you have to give yourself time. Have friends, socialize, right. That's exactly you know what I'm saying? But like... at the same time, don't disrespect yourself. Right, true. Don't disrespect Let me tell you, let me tell you before you even, hold on, hold on, let me explain something to you, Ricky. For my whole nine months of pregnancy, I had not had sex with this guy since last year, February. You know what I'm saying? It's, he knew what time it was. I told him from day one, this is not your child. He's not stupid. It's, it's, I was pregnant for only nine months, not a year. What, what, he's not dumb. He knew what time it was. I, well, I, I hate advantage of him and take his money. Was that just, when you know you want to have nothing to do with him? He dissed me long enough. It's time to Too long. Don't to make it right. Too long. Make it right for me. Too long. Don't make it right. <laughs> it was right for me. I, I yes, ma'am. Hi, this is to all the male guests on your show today. I feel so you all can do better than what you have now because it's obvious that you're being dull. And you should get to know who's going to treat you the way you should be treated. Somebody, you baby? Well. Hold on. All right, don't you think you hold it there? Hold on, you hold it there. You should not have played yourself and got up and said that because these two guys right here, <laughs> dog, dog, you know, they had a girl in their hotel room last night. Exactly. Oh, oh, yeah. Listen to your you, friend. I think it's your friend. 
I think his friend, I'm sorry. Dude, Wait, I mean, you think his friend Alex is butting in? I, it's not so much that he's butting I think he's a, a little jealous. You know, they're good friends. He wants to hang out with his partner. His partner's not there, so he's going to get the girl. Okay. You, sister, the, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to dog you, so you ain't got to give me all that look now. It ain't about that. <laughs> the thing is, you, you, you've had a bad relationship with one individual, but you shouldn't let that individual determine how you're going to deal with other individuals. Everybody's different, and you haven't went out with 100 men to say that 99% of them are bad. All, all right. right. <laughs> what do you think? Did David have a job? David, I'm impressed. Trust. If you trust the woman or man you're with, then maybe you don't have to pay attention to what your friends are telling you. But if you're having your doubts, then maybe you should listen to your friends because they may just know what they're talking about. I would like to thank all of my guests for being here. Thank you, David, for helping us out, and thank you for watching. See you next time. Promotional fees have been paid by the following.